everybody, in this video we're going to talk about the side-side-side similarity theorem with triangles. So it says if the corresponding side lengths of two triangles are proportional, then, we left out an N there, then the triangles are similar. So let's look at these two triangles we have right here. If we have triangle ABC and triangle DEF, if we can write this, if let's say AB over DE is equal to BC over EF, which is equal to AC over DF, then we can say the two triangles are similar. So that's what this similarity theorem is telling us, that our corresponding sides are proportional. Okay, so let's look at some examples to go along with this theorem. Example number one just says which triangles are similar. So there's a strategy to this. We wanna take our shortest sides and compare them first, our longest sides and compare them, and then if we have any remaining sides, we can also compare them. Well, in this case, notice we have on triangle ABC, two sides are 20, on triangle DEF, two sides are 12, and on triangle GHJ, two sides are eight. So let's start with our longest sides and let's compare them. So for triangle ABC, let's compare AC over DF. Okay, so that would be 30 over 16. And now we can reduce that a little bit if we want to. Um, let's divide both of those by two and we get 15 over eight. Okay, so let's focus on 15 over eight for right now, okay? So now let's look at the two of the other sides, compare them, if their ratio is also 15 over eight, then we know we're proportional. So now let's compare, let's do AB over DE. So AB is 20, DE is 12. So now when we reduce that, let's, we can divide both of those by four and we get five over three. Okay, so now is five over three the same as 15 over eight? No, right, so we know this does not work. Okay, so this is, we can write in here our similar sign and draw our line through it. So those are not similar, okay? ABC is not similar. So I guess we can add that in there. Triangle ABC is not similar to triangle DEF, okay? Now let's try ABC and GHJ. So let's do the longest side. So let's do AC, over GJ. So we get 30 over 12. And now here, let's reduce by six, right? So we get five over two for our ratio. So now let's do 20 over eight. So let's do A side AB from our larger triangle and side, we can do, let's do GH. So we get 20 over eight and now for both of these, we can divide by four, right? 20 divided by four is five, A divided by four is two. And so now look what we have. We have the same ratio. So we can say triangle ABC is similar to triangle GHJ. So we know that one is good. We know ABC is not similar to DEF. We know ABC is similar to GHJ. So let's see if DEF is similar to GHJ. So let's start with side DF, that's the longest side here. And let's go to GJ. So this would be 16 over 12. And we can reduce this to four over three. Okay, so now let's do DE from triangle DEF, which would be 12 over GH. So this is gonna be 12 over eight. And when we reduce this, let's do divide by four. So we get three over two. Okay, so those are not the same. So we're gonna say triangle DEF is not similar to triangle GHJ. Okay, so the only two triangles that were similar were ABC and GHJ. All right, now let's look at example number two. This one says find the value of X that makes triangle ABC similar to triangle DEF. So when we look at this, find out where your X is located, right? We have one here and we have one there. So let's look at a side or two sides that are corresponding that have the measures listed. So here we can compare AB over DE and say this is 15 over three, which is equal to five over one. So I'm gonna leave it as five over one, that's my ratio. And so now let's compare, let's say five over one is equal to, and let's do these two sides right here. So let's say BC over EF. So let's do five times a quantity of X minus six, over five, okay? Now we can cross multiply. So if we simplify this side first, let's do five over one equals, let's distribute this five, so five X minus 30 
over 5. Now we cross multiply, so we get 25 equals, and this would just be 5x minus 30. We can add 30 to both sides, so let's scroll down a little bit. This gives us 55 equals 5x. We can divide by 5, and we get x equals 11. Okay, so now we can plug that back in just to make sure x is 11. So if x is 11 here, this would be 5 times 5, which is 25. This would be 11 minus 5, which is 6. So now when we compare all three of our corresponding sides, they should have that same ratio of 5 over 1. So let's do AC over DF. Then we're going to do AB over DE. And lastly, BC over EF. So AC over DF would be 30 over 6. AB is 15. DE is 3. And we had 25 over 5. Okay, so notice on all of these, 30 divided by 6, 5. 15 divided by 3, 5. And 25 divided by 5, 5. So these two triangles are similar when x is equal to 11. And that is the side-side-side similarity theorem.